I come in Monday morning when the machine's been off all weekend and I see there's a bit of a water leak on the floor here. I'm gonna check it out. I have, a, I suspect there's a bad valve leaking up on top of the machine. Um, I can't remember on, on this particular soft gloss machine which of these two nozzles is the soap water and which one's the rinse. But this other one, this upper one is, has a drip. I'm suspecting since that's the clean nozzle, that might be the, that might be the soap nozzle. Um, both are run off of a water main source, but each have their own valve. So we'll go up top here where the valves are. And there's these two solenoid valves here. Um, both are run off a of water main, I can tell because they're they're hard to the touch here, so they're on a constant water source. Um, I believe these two, well one's a one inch and one's a three quarter inch valve. And you can tell if they're leaking really bad, one of them will be making a really loud hissing sound, but they're not. Neither one is making much hissing at all, so what I can do is I can get my stethoscope out here or if a person doesn't have a stethoscope, they can also put their ear up to a screwdriver like this and put it up against the valve somewhere. Put your ear against that, and if you hear the, the hiss, there's your problem. You need to replace that valve. Um, the good news is uh, when you replace these valves, instead of replacing this whole assembly with the main body here, you don't have to... You can leave the main body, this back portion, on and you can instead unscrew the four bolts here holding the front plate here. There's a diaphragm underneath there. You can replace that part of the assembly that has this plate, that diaphragm, and the solenoid all as one instead of doing this whole uh, portion because that would be a huge pain. And doing that after you shut the water main off and change this valve out, that should fix your problem. It's just a matter of finding out which of the two, in this instance, are causing the issue. Got this figured out and I've since labeled them rinse and detergent lines there. It was the rinse nozzle after all. I, I couldn't figure out which of the two, uh, which one was the rinse or the top one there. I just assumed it was clean. It must have been the soap one, but nope. If I had looked at this nozzle up on this front brush here, that's a soap nozzle and it's got all the barnacles on it, so I should have known. Anyway, I knew it was the upper nozzle, which is now the rinse. I determined that. I shut the water main off to it and it stopped the drips. I had to fix this too because this, uh, this, this drip that was running off to the side here, it was all greasy and that, that water was ending up, uh, it was dripping onto this, the bearing of the wheel, which is kind of removing grease in the process. God, that's ugly. But anyway, I re -lubed that and now I need to fix this leak. Back to the valves here. Um, last video I had determined it's either one of these two valves, which are each on a water main supply. Um, this one is for the, I should have known this, this one is for the, uh, the uh, detergent mix. And this one here is for your rinse water. I should have known this because this guy right here, um, it goes into it and it's the rinse wax and it taps into this, into this line downstream from the valve where this one has its soap line tapped into it. So anyway, beside the point, I took this valve apart because anytime there's a leak, I suspect that the diaphragm, this guy right here, let's mock it up. It's this rubber diaphragm that moves in and out, and usually it gets a groove worn into it from this seal point right here. And what will happen is it'll start wearing this groove into the, on this inner side of the diaphragm here, you'll see the groove. I have a new valve. I'm not gonna replace the whole assembly. Like I say, you don't need to replace this body, it's fine. So I just disassemble the new one and just get the new diaphragm out of it. Now when I flip this over, you'll see that this one doesn't really have a groove worn into it. Um, it's pretty fresh. So that's probably where my leak is coming from is that groove worn too deep and it can't make a good seal anymore. So I'm gonna, steal this from the new valve and put her in there and it presses in there and then I'll end up bolting this 
this uh, outer body back onto it. And that should fix the problem. I am confident of that because I've done this before. So, whenever you, whenever you have a leak, it's pretty much always the diaphragm getting a groove worn into it. If it doesn't seem to open the valve, it's likely because your solenoid's bad. You need to replace that part of it. So I keep both of these parts on hand. I actually keep whole valve assemblies on hand just in case because it can be one or the other problem that can arise anywhere out of nowhere. So I'd rather just have both those parts on hand. So hope that helps you in your situations. It did me. So thanks for watching. I don't even know what to do with these main bodies anymore. I don't use them. So what can I do with them? Make a you know, tire gauge holder or something.